Hi, I'm, I'm Megan Moore. I'm the program coordinator for the ICE program here at the University of Regina. ICE program, ICE stands for Educating Youth in Engineering and Science. We are a youth program out of the University of Regina partnered through the Faculty of Engineering and Applied Science. What we do is we work with youth, teachers, and parents all across Southern Saskatchewan to provide hands-on engineering and science programming. We range from workshops to Saturday clubs to summer camps to partnerships with schools where staff or myself go and visit schools all across Regina or Southern Saskatchewan to really show youth the importance of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. We might not know it, but science, technology, engineering, and math is everywhere. You can't have art without science. You can't have social sciences without science. You can't have photography without science. You can't have gym without science. So what we want to do is we want to take this big, vast world that we live in, and we want to take all of the students and all of the youth and all of their interests, and we want to show them how science is applicable to absolutely everything. We really want to introduce students to future careers. We want to show them that there is more to science than being a nurse. There's more to science than being a teacher. There's more to science than being a doctor. We want to tell them all about the different types of engineers you can be. We can talk about the different types of scientists you can be. We want to show them that there is a true future in science, technology, engineering, and math, and that future is waiting for them. So one of the big questions we get from parents is what qualifies your instructors to be instructors? And so all of our instructors are first aid CPR AED certified. They all go through rigorous training through the University of Regina on safety protocols, uh, PPE, fire extinguishers. We also do very extensive classroom management and instructional training at a retreat before we even get started. Um, so all of our staff are well practiced, highly certified. Many of them are education students. We hire engineers, we hire science students. We have students that aren't just from Regina as well. We also bring in students from the University of Toronto or the University of Alberta. So depending on where the students are living in the summer, it doesn't depend on what school they go to in the fall. Comparing who we reach here at Eyes to who we reach at other programs, um, we reach everyone. There's, there's no demographic that ends up left out. Which is, it's, which is incredible, especially for a nonprofit program. They have worked very hard in the past and we work very hard now uh, to really inspire youth regardless of their backgrounds. And so it's, it's, very, it's, it's so inspiring to be a part um, of a program that, that works so hard for the children and not for us. In the fall and in the winter, we offer an eight week club program. This program is geared towards youth, again, in grades two all the way up to grades nine, so that we can carry on our our STEM impact throughout the school year. In the months of May and June, we offer a workshop program. So this is where we partner with schools all across Southern Saskatchewan. We offer 45 minute workshops where we do a hands-on science experiment based on the Saskatchewan learning curriculum. Uh, we do these workshops to really show students what they can do and what they can do with the knowledge that they've learned in schools. I just wanna give a big thank you to all of the teachers that support our program and bring us into our classrooms. Without you guys, we wouldn't have a program. We wouldn't have our impact. We wouldn't be able to reach the students that we do. So a huge thank you uh, to the teachers of Southern Saskatchewan for supporting the ICE program. So a word to our sponsors. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, as a nonprofit, we are very heavily dependent on our grants and our sponsorship. Without you guys, we wouldn't be able to serve all of our uh, all of our outreach campers. Uh, this year alone we have seven, seven outreach camps. So that means there's seven different groups of children. Um, on average there's 20 students per camp that we are able to reach and impact the lives of. Without you guys we wouldn't be able to provide them with hot lunches, with supplies, um, and with the instructors to run the camps. Without our sponsorships, we wouldn't be able to do some of the activities we do. Uh, we are doing an eye dissection. Uh, without you guys and without the support of our sponsors, we wouldn't be able to do activities like that. We wouldn't be able to do robotics. We wouldn't be able to do coding. We wouldn't have the computers we have. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye.